Hi, so a while back I did a three minute tool tutorial on EduCanon, which is a similar tool that allowed you to embed questions into videos, but EduCanon has now been picked up by PlayPosit and it doesn't really exist anymore. And in the meanwhile, I had uh, learned to love Edpuzzle more because it had better feedback on what students had done in terms of watching the video and answering the questions. So if you want to check out Edpuzzle, you come on out to edpuzzle.com and you can hit login um, as a teacher and then and uh, you'll want to sign up if you haven't signed up. So to sign up and then after that to sign in, you can use a Google account, a Nitmoto account, or you can provide your own username and email address. So once you're logged in, you'll see lesson examples and other things that you can explore. Uh, if you want to go right to creating some new content, you, you're going to click on My Content over here and then on Create, and then you can either upload a video that you've created yourself, or if you go to New Video, you can then give a URL for a video out on YouTube or in numerous other places like a TED Talk out on Khan Academy and so forth. So here I've used the last three minute tutorial I did on uh, social listening for teaching and learning as an example. And one of the first things I want to show you is that you can very easily um, trim the video. So that's really uh, neat. You can go pages. right ahead. Let me stop that for a second. You can go right ahead and trim it down and say, I only want to use a certain part for my lesson. So now adding a question is really easy. What you want to do is get to the point in the video where you want to add the question and come up to this quizzes icon or question mark icon. By the way, there's little tutorials available throughout the application, so those are great to take advantage of. Uh, once you've added the placeholder for the, the question, you're going to hit that question mark down here, and now you're going to get the options to add either an open-ended question or a multiple choice question. You'll see that there's some functionality here to allow you to format how the question appears. You can even add images and formulas for multiple choice questions you can indicate which is the correct response for all kinds of, of these questions you can add feedback uh, which is very useful so you know just a really powerful function to be able to add questions like this to any video um, and there's also a comment function so uh, the other thing is that you can require students to answer these questions or view these comments as they move through the video so what a, what a great way to both require engagement with the video and get information that allows you to assess understanding now once you've built out your questions, you're going to want to come to My Classes up here and you're going to want to add a class. Now note, you can also import a class from Google Classroom. When you do add a class, you just give it a, give it a name and then what happens is you then associate the videos with a class and in order to invite students to watch it, you can use this invite students function and give them a link to go to or give them a code that they can enter. And then when they come out to Edpuzzle and log in as a student, they can enter that code and it will instantly take them to the class. And similarly, uh, if you give them the link, you could email them this link and they can click on it and it's going to have them come out and join the class. Now here's where it gets really cool because for any of these assignments you can check on progress and come out and see uh, how your students did. So did they watch it? Did they do it on time based upon a due date you gave them? And what kind of grade did they get on the assessment? So there you have Edpuzzle. Uh, I think it's just amazing that for free, it's totally free for teachers and students, they are working on some premium features for school districts, which is good because if they don't have an income stream, they're not going to stay in business. Um, but for teachers to be able to embed questions in any video like this and get this feedback, I think is just absolutely brilliant. And I, uh, I'm a real fan. So go check out Edpuzzle today.